Get in the fight. Get in the fight. The situation as it stands right now is very, very clear. Never, never has Israel and Jewish people been under attack like this worldwide in our lifetime, that's for sure, notwithstanding World War II. We are moments away from Israel being hit by a nuclear device. If, if it got into the right hands of the individuals that want to destroy uh, Israel, bombs would be launched on Tel Aviv, on Jerusalem, without a second thought by Muslim radical jihadists. Violence has escalated even as Prime Minister Ehud Olmert uh, has warned that Israel's patience is running out. About 70 rockets and mortar shells have been fired at Israel since last night in what is being reported as the largest scale assault since a ceasefire with Hamas began. It's that simple. There's a desire to destroy Israel and there's an intent. All that's missing is the, the mechanisms to do it. And I tell you right now, Christian leaders, jihadis all over the world are looking to do that. Jews are being persecuted all over the world. The, the Jew hatred and anti-Semitism is so great even in the United States that this month in May, University of California at Irvine has a Jew hate fest going on. Take a look at that nonsense over there. Where are the Christian voices standing for, the, 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 for Israel and for Jewish people? And I get asked this when I'm invited into the homes and synagogues, Tom, where are Christian leaders? And I, and I got to tell you, there are a handful. Um, Pastor Hagee out of Texas, a tremendous organization um, that he's done so much with uh, out of the Boston area. Pastor Fumio Taku with uh, CJUI, Christians and Jews United for Israel. Down in South Jersey, Bill Sutter, Friends of Israel. There are organizations, folks, Christian leaders, but they're the exception. So, Primarily, if you're a Christian earning your salary from proclaiming the truth of Christ, you have a historic obligation based upon the role that Judaism has played in paving the way for Christianity to thank the Jewish people in Israel, number one. Number two, uh, if you haven't noticed, Christians are under attack by this horrendous political system of Islam. במשך שבועות אסף העיתונאי אנריקה צימרמן פרטים ועדויות ממשפחות נוצריות שנמלטות מעזה וטוענות בתוקף הארגונים האסלאמיים ברצועה מנסים לבצע טיהור אתני של המיעוט הנוצרי במקום. מתוך עדויות וקטעי מידע ותמונות שהוברחו מהרצועה עולה מציאות קשה, בתי ספר, מוסדות תרבות ותר... וציבור נוצריים נשרפים ומופצצים, ספרי קודש מועלים באש, אלמונים מנסים לחסל בכירים נוצריים שחשודים בפעילות מיסיונרית. Now, am I uh, saying all Muslims are bad all over the place? No, I'm not saying that. Am I saying there are enough bad Muslims who have a desire to hate Jews and hate Christians to destroy Israel and to destroy the United States? Absolutely. I spend my life in this work, and that's not a light statement. Where are the priests? Where are the pastors? Where are the seminarians, the professors, taking an articulate, well-understood compassionate and passionate stand for Israel. Where are you? Please get in the fight. I have a novel idea. How about you Christian leaders joining <laughs> with the Jewish community? Uh, there's several reasons why Christian leaders in particular should defend Jewish people and the state of Israel. Primarily, um, Christians owe Jews let me underscore that. Christianity owes Judaism. It's that simple. We enjoy the, the, the triumph of the second covenant because of the, the tribulations of the first covenant. Okay, think about that. We as Christians enjoy the wonder of salvation and the gift of eternal life and all of that. The New Testament because those who proclaimed the Old Testament were faithful with every jot and every tittle and through blood, sweat and tears and, and persecutions over thousands of years, the small group of people remained faithful to Hashem, remained faithful to the covenant, to Torah. And because of that sacrifice by these individuals, we, as you know, Christian leaders. We are grafted in. We're a branch. 
grafted into that firm, strong olive tree. And the vitality of Christianity comes from the root of Judaism. I challenge the Christian community that is uh, watching even Christian persecutions worldwide to recognize the immediacy of this historic moment to stand against radical Islam, stand for Israel, stand for Jewish people. It is a historic responsibility, a moral responsibility, a personal responsibility, and I see no exceptions. If you earn your paycheck, earning money, proclaiming Christian truth, you necessarily have to have a part of your life committed to saving Jews and Israel. If you want to argue with me on that, that's fine. It's an argument you're going to lose historically, philosophically, and theologically, but I don't want to argue. I'm imploring and begging and asking for your help. We, those Christians who are supporting Israel, need your help desperately. So please, go to the website, Florida Security Council, get in the fight. There'll be a little, little, little banner there. I want to get in the fight. Contact us. We'll help you join with Jewish people. They want you to speak in their synagogues, in their homes. They want to reach out to their Christians, brothers and sisters. We can serve as a mechanism to make that happen. Uh, pastors, priests, please think seriously about the necessity of speaking out for Israel at a time when so many want to destroy and kill her. Thank you very, very much. تخلون عن نصرة القدس عن نصرة فلسطين يتخلون عن الحشد والرباط تحشرهم النار مع القردة والخنازير مع اليهود الذين ولوهم الذين لمسخهم الله فجعل منهم القردة والخنازير ראשית שרפו שם ספרים. באחד הלילות, בשתיים לפנות בוקר, נכנסו מוסלמים אל הספרייה הנוצרית על כיתה בל מוקדס, במרכז עזה. הם השתלטו על המקום, הרסו אותו מהיסוד, והדליקו בו אש, ופגעו בכתבים נוצרים קדושים. כמה שבועות אחר כך, הציתו בית ספר. האלמונים פרצו אל המוסד הזה, סגרד הפמיליה. שמנוהל על ידי הנזירות של מסדר אימא תרזה, והציתו גם אותו. מתרחשת כבר חודשים מלחמת דת, רק שלאיש אין אינטרס לחשוף אותה. إن عاجلا أو عاجلا لا بد أن يكون جهاد ولا بد أن يكون قتال بيننا وبين اليهود على الحكومات أن تعمل على إيجاد حالة جهادية شعبية في كل مكان إيجاد جيش شعبي قوي تدريب الشباب وإعداد الشباب كما كان الحال في الثلاثينات والأربعينات من هذا القرن I come out, I hear again the uh, air like uh, shh, and after two, three seconds it's blast. Mm. And uh, that time I don't have the time to get inside again in the center. I haven't any word to explain to you what happened and what's going on because we are also from foreign country and we don't know what is going tomorrow. We hope it will never happen again. I feel I have to go back to Nepal. Why it's happened again and again? I don't understand this thing. This is very bad for everyone. I am afraid. Get in the fight. Get in the fight.